Notts County Tour, instant reaction, um, it's finished. Bournemouth 2, Notts County 2. Um, in the end, a very, very good, very, very good point away from home. And it's always going to be difficult when you concede early on. We saw that exactly the same um, pretty much scenario played out against Kings Lynn. We conceded from outside the area early on and it ends in 2-2. Two -two and you, you've always got a massive uphill battle instantly from that. Um, I was thinking of how this, this video was going to go and it was at 2-0 because I couldn't see not scoring at all. We had a decent spell um, just after they scored their first, but I couldn't see how this was this video was going to play out. And I, I was thinking... I don't want to be too negative, but the performance really was poor again. On the whole, the performance was poor. Um, there were some very strange things, such as Enzio playing at wing back. Um, I was debating with George watching: is it is it a five with Enzio at wing back, or is it a four with Rawlinson at, at full back? And it suddenly dawned on me that yes, there's injuries, but either way, it's not very good, is it? He, he, Rawlinson's a centre back, and Enzio is not a wing back. And then when the formations change. Enzio dropped to right back. I get his injuries, but um, yeah, it's just not fantastic. The, the goals, Lacey didn't know much about it. It sort of rebounded onto him and he just got a touch in and then Effion with the penalty. And I think a lot of Notts fans, the performances haven't been great from Effion, but to stand up and take the penalty does show a little bit of, um, shows a bit of determination to prove people wrong. You know, we, we have Wharton that's missed a few penalties. Sam that obviously missed the penalty. Um... His, his most recent one, and F. Young to step up and take that and put it away so calmly was good. And actually, Rodriguez could have won it at the end. He could have won it. And that would really have been a smash and grab, and I'd love nothing more than to shut their manager up, who seemed to have a bit of a tiff with Ardy at the end of the game. Um, really dislikable guy. And I would have loved nothing more than, than for that to just quieten him down. Uh, we've got two points away from home, and I think now Sutton have won again, unbelievably. And I still stand by, they are going to have a blip. They've got to have a blip, but currently they're six points ahead of second place Hartlepool with three games in hand over them. Even if they pick up a couple of points in those games in hand, you're looking at eight point gap and then the blip can actually, they can afford to lose a few games. So in all, it's going to be really, really hard to catch Sutton, isn't it? Um, and you know, not only have we got to catch Sutton, there could be, if Sutton do have a blip, we've got to catch some of the teams above us. So for me now, I'd love to be proved wrong and look back at this video in a couple of months' time, three months' time, and think, wow, how wrong I was. But now it's it's not in the playoffs, and it's about finishing in second or third and making sure we don't have to play that extra game. Things aren't, aren't great. I looked through the, the results at half-time, and I think it's the past seven games we have not played well in, because really, Wealdstone was... It was a better performance, but on not standards, it if you look at what Notts are capable of, it wasn't there. Um, I talk about momentum. I've talked about it a lot this season. I really hope that this can provide that momentum. I really hope that we're now two unbeaten. We've won our home. We've drawn our way. We've got two very difficult games coming up. Um, something that you don't usually get. It's back-to-back -back fixtures against the same side. So we've got Yeovil and then Yeovil again. I think the first fixture is Yeovil at home. Um... You know, it's, a, it's another one now. You're looking at you've got to get a minimum of four points from this and remain unbeaten. I hope the tides are turning. We seem to have been sticking with this. We look maybe we're going to stick with this five. And as soon as possible, I want to see Wotton paired up front with, with Knight and see what he can do. I think we're going to stick with this formation now because I think look, we're going to see very little Cal Roberts. And even by the time he's back, I think maybe he's he's going to be not fit enough to, to really make an impact. So I want to see Knight as soon as possible and just give everyone a lift. I think I feel I feel ecstatic that we've got the two two, but at the same time the performance wasn't there and if we hadn't have got that penalty, which was pretty fortunate, I would have been here right now saying and thinking how it, it is another poor performance. So we've got to remain upbeat. Um result wise, performance wise it wasn't quite there again. Um, I'd love to see that with a third game in this formation and Kelly Evans back, how we're going to play. Um, I'm look out for our match preview, which will be joined by a special guest from 6.30 on Friday evening.